When all the guts of the room are completed, it was time to close up the walls and start making this thing look more finished. One of the reasons for opening up the walls was to make sure there was proper insulation inside. Now, three of the four walls definitely have the right insulation. The only wall that doesn't is the wall adjacent to the garage. At some point in the future, I'm sure that that room will be renovated as well, and insulation will be included with that. I've done some drywall videos in the past. If you want more details about the process, you can click the link that just popped up in the corner. I staggered my seams, punched holes wherever necessary for electrical, and used a zip bit to perfectly cut the drywall around the window. As far as mudding drywall goes, you either love it or hate it. I used to hate it because I was so green. Now that I've done more and more over the years, I find it kind of meditative, but I still hate it. Mixing the mud is a delicate science. If it's too thick, it's hard to work with. And if it's too thin, it's just runny and sloppy. Adding the right amount of water can make or break the rest of the job. The first coat went on fine. It took two coats everywhere and more in some of the tricky spots. Up near the ceiling are beams that used to support the old openings before the walls were added to enclose the space. They protrude a bit, which is fine. I just caulked the inside corner so it could be painting with the wall. Everything was now ready for paint. There's lots of things that dramatically change the look of a room. A new coat of paint may be the easiest and most significant way to do that. The ceiling has a new coat of white and needed to be finished around the edges. The walls will be a subtle gray, the same color we used inside the house. I didn't need to do it everywhere because cabinets and backsplash tile will cover some of the walls. And just like that, this room is all the more closer to being done. Okay, that's it for now. See ya.